What's up everyone? Tony Abreu here with Perceptive Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to be talking about night vision scopes. Here I have the ATN 4K 5x20. It's the Pro version. It's the day and night version, night vision version. It's sitting on a 6.5 Grendel with a full rifle stock and 20 inch stainless barrel. And then I got it also sitting on a Predator Tactics Deadeye tripod. So for this application, I'll be using the stock illuminator and I just want to illustrate how to actually aim the illuminator so that you can get the best possible picture when nighttime hunting. So part of this, this is the illuminator. It's actually this one comes from the actual x 2. It's the mount for it. It's a little bit easier to get on and off because it has a quick detach um, little handle right here. But this is actually the light that came with the 4K. So in order to do what we're going to do here, we have to, number one, mount it. Now, a lot of people mount it on the actual scope itself. But what I found is that if you mount it on the scope, if you take a shot and you need to make a quick follow-up shot, if you see my actual compensator right there, well, that's a, I have a suppressor that I screw on there normally, but even with the suppressor on, if you take a shot with it up here, then what it's going to do is it's going to white out your screen for one or two seconds and you're not going to be able to get a quick follow-up shot. So what I recommend is mounting it below the barrel and that will actually the gases rise up into it when it's a, when it's mounted on the scope or above the barrel but the gases rise if you put the light below the barrel then you won't get the white out and you can make quick shots but what you're going to need to do you're going to need to get a number two size allen wrench this is a number two metric and you basically have to loosen these or if not they are already loose when you get it i would imagine um, I know on another scope they were, but you need to loosen them so that you can move this around and see how it's moving around. It's hard for me to hold this and do it, but so it moves around and then once it gets dark, I'm sitting right now on a tree line at 100 yards and then I'll figure out how far that is and we'll probably use that tree line over there to the left to actually do the whole thing. So stay tuned. All right, so it's dark now, and basically what I'm going to do is I am going to start out with my rifle here. This is the ATN 4K Pro 5x20 with the stock illuminator right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot across. It's basically 300 yards to that tree line over there. I'm going to shoot across. I'm going to video it. I'm going to aim, and I'm going to show you how to what I'm going to do, but basically what I'm going to do is this is loose, so it moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this all the way out and that puts it on spot because when we do this, we want to aim on spot so that we can put the spot right in our crosshairs. And then after that, then we can tighten it up and then we can pull it back a little bit and then we can have a flood, but it's aimed no matter what 300 yards it's aimed there. So it's going to pick up it's always going to pick up right in line with your scope at all times. That's so going to give you the best possible picture at nighttime regardless. So we're going to do that right now. All right. So that tree line right there is approximately 300 yards. Now it's still not quite dark yet, but you still should be able to see the illuminator there and get set up if you were going to hunt tonight or whatever but once you set it up and you tighten everything down it should be staying there so that you won't have to mess with it again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and flip on the illuminator and you can kind of see how it got a little brighter there and now what i'm doing is i'm moving it you can see it in the bottom of the screen there see in the bottom of the screen so now i'm going to go up a little bit so what happens is that's really far away, okay? And if I screw it in, 
you'll see it's starting to move around a little bit that's a car going by on the other road that's a car pulling in over there no worries but that's pretty well so with this illuminator now with my Coyote Reaper XXL I could see that on that tree no problem but that's kind of far away for this one so at least I have it kind of dialed in now I'm gonna swing to a hundred yards which is right over here in front of me okay and now you see the light so I'm gonna make sure that it's on that's basically flood right there and then that goes to there's a spot where it gets spotty right there let's go out a little bit where it is the most the most crispy right there and that's gonna be it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down but if you look right here where it gets to be a little waffly right there that's gonna be your pretty well extreme spot so you can see I can move over a little bit see it right there okay that puts it there if I go down so pretty much right right there no matter what I do right there that's gonna be in the center of my beam and then that's gonna be the best possible picture I'm gonna get with this light in general so now I'm gonna tighten it down alright so I just got done videoing through the scope and aiming the infrared light now I'm gonna come over here and I'm just going to tighten it down. There's these two screws right here on the bottom side. I'm just going to tighten them down. They're Allen screws. They're number two metric. I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down. And basically they are going to work on this weapon for as long as they're tightened down. And probably other weapons as well. I have a couple different scopes. So sometimes I use different. I really like this light versus other lights because of the way you can turn it on with just the twist of the tail cap as far as I don't have three you know Coyote Reaper XXLs which the XXL is amazing I'll shoot a video of that and show you just the difference here in a second but I'll go ahead and tighten that down that's not moving now that's set for this rifle and any rifle pretty much underneath the barrel that's your setup and it won't move so And that's it for that one all right so that's how you do it you basically loosen those two bolts up turn it on get it into the waffle pattern that's your tightest pattern that you're gonna get and then you basically you know go look through the scope put it put that put that box in the middle you know your brightest part of the light or put the even amount of light all the way around the middle of your scope and then you're set then you can back it out to flood it out or you can actually you know um, put it back on spot to go a little bit farther so thanks for watching this video i hope you got value out of that